how did solar system form now the thing is you guys already everyone has answer key so if i explain anything you guys already know that the photo and the, the, the description then what is the purpose of this worksheet did you guys look through all the photos what is written or you just scrolled the pages quickly mr alex a little bit i, I tried to like make a summary or a shorter answer so see some description is given about the beginning of solar system okay if you see the image that is being pasted i will refer from there okay okay sir. and i will elaborate it for you if you already know that's okay otherwise i will elaborate some things because if it is already written then why should i write the same thing again and again and, and spend so much time right yeah. i will explain what is i will explain what is mentioned here and you can ask your questions after i explain but you have to listen first so our, our solar system was formed about 5 billion years ago from a swirling cloud of dust and gas yani this is the beginning here this as scientists said this is the beginning here it was initially like this it is a combination of dust and gas and yes. sun is somewhere here now gravity pulled the dust and gas together to make the sun and all the planets some of the material formed rings around the outer planets this is what they are telling us that the planets started separating and few planets got rings around them like saturn is very famous for its rings okay and mr uranus also has rings like some include that i'm not saying that only saturn has but it is very popular that saturn has rings i'm not saying only saturn has rings and other planets don't have i have read somewhere that there are other planets also i yeah, guess uranus. Uh, uranus or neptune either one of them i remember they have some rings also all semester if the uh, earth have a lot like now the by the earth uh, what uh, the weather if the weather is higher there will be rings by the time of the, by the, uh, for the earth oh okay now i i want to ask something which is the hottest planet in our solar system venus i know why not mercury mercury is standing close to this big boy yeah why not because mercury? because the uh, the gravity of venus uh, like uh, is higher so it mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. pulls mm -hmm. more mm -hmm. more heat mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. no no venus anyone else i was uh, here comes the scientist boy venus has atmosphere what is the meaning of atmosphere oh, yes. it has a layer of gases around it so when the sun rays go inside it is very difficult for them to escape its atmosphere so it remains inside that moisture which makes it very 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 hot but on mercury does it have it's... atmosphere no. no so the sun rays no. come and du du uh, during they the day and they can escape they pass through it but it's also not pass through it i'm not saying it's passing through the sun no <laughs> it's not <Reflect. laughs> it's, uh, it's not oh uh, yeah it's not hawa it's not air <laughs> okay it's not a ghost that it goes goes through it no but the thing is it goes and bounces back but does not stay near the surface and it does not make it even hotter but in venus the atmosphere absorbs it or... yes traps or absorbs much of the heat that's why it is very very hot even hotter than the nearest planet to the sun even hotter than mercury okay this is the reason mr do you know that the country russia is bigger than the planet mercury i don't know russia is contains an area mercury contains volume i don't know how are you comparing these two things i don't know they said that <laughs> they were said who who told you who told you this a scientist a scientist they not said, told me any scientists are working with you Not, <laughs> uh, not told me like they are telling people on the uh, ah, media wikipedia okay, mister okay, okay, no, okay, okay. okay discuss why do objects orbit around the sun 
Orbiting means what? Uh, to go Moving. around the sun. To go Moving around, around. Yes. Like this is sun, and these are the orbits. Yeah. Can okay. I explain, like, sir? Yes, go for it. There are two reasons, mister. Gravity and centripetal force. Oh. Did you print the answer key and put it in front of you or what? <laughs> the centripetal force is not even in the answer key. Yes. Whoa. 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 Like whoa. The first step. Yes. Yes, go for it. Go for it. The guy is giving uh, great info. Go for it. Okay. So when the Earth is being pulled by the sun, and then it's go, it's trying to go away, but the uh, it's the equal force of pulling uh, the Earth and the Earth going away, so it does not go anywhere else. It will just stay in position. And then when it's going the opposite direction, it won't go any further or closer. It will just go in the same direction, but the same a different direction, but different distance. Like the uh, different direction, but the same distance. Okay. See, let okay. me let me try to give some some like easier easier explanation, simpler. Yeah, your explanation is not wrong. Your explanation is correct, but I think it's very like high level for everyone to understand. What I read somewhere a uh, long time back that when the solar system was formed, the planets started revolving. Now to maintain the balance, they will keep on revolving forever and ever until there is a resistance. Okay, like for example, you are swinging on, you know this? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes. This goes up, this right, and then it goes back, up, forward and backward, right? You know this right? What do you call it in uh, this, this swing? This is swing, like. In Arabic, Murjah. Arabic. Hmm? Murjah. Uh, yeah, Murjah. No, Murjah. Yeah. This, something like this? Uh, after the gym, uh, yeah. Yeah. Ah, ah, Murjah. Murjah. Yeah. Something like this? No, 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 Mr. Uh, Mim, no, no, Mr. Mim. Mim, Ra, Jim, Ya, Ha, Ta, Marbuta. This one? Yeah, like this. Yeah. Mar, Jiha. Oh, wow. So complicated. Okay. G, G, and Mr. How you how you can write the ha or the gym like that? It's so nice. Like this. I make it like a triangle. Like. <laughs> ah, okay. You you make like this, huh? Yeah. Ja ja ja. <laughs> my handwriting. Okay, so this swing, if you if you load it until here and then you release, like for example, there is a guy standing here, because sitting is very old school. Okay, so this guy is doing stunt. He's standing, okay, on the swing. And you apply a force forward and then you release your hand. What will happen? This guy will start swinging and ultimately, if he does not apply any force, he will come to rest after a few swings. Did you get my point? Hello. A guy is sitting here, okay? Hello, you can hear my voice or no? Yes. No one is yes, replying okay. anything. Yes. For example, have you, who has whoever has used this? Tell me. Have you played me. with this? Everyone. Yeah, everyone. I hope everyone. No one. Me. No one can say I, I don't know what is this. Yes, of course. Okay. So this swing. For example, there is someone sitting and it will move forward, backward, and if it does not apply force, it will come to rest. Okay? But if there was no friction, if there was no gravity, if you move this guy forward, he will always be moving forward, backward, forward. He will never come to rest. Why does he come to rest? Because of friction and gravity. Oh, because gravity okay? is like pulling it. 
so yes th these are the resisting forces so similarly here now currently there is no resisting force that's why these guys are moving round and round and round and round and round and round yes okay wheels on the bus go round and round similarly the mars <laughs> mars and mercury go around the sun round and round okay you know wheels on the bus everyone knows wheels on the bus yeah uh, wheels on the bus <laughs> who has a small baby in the house everyone knows yeah. wheels on the bus <laughs> <laughs> they have millions and like 200 million views like 800 million views like uh, 500 million views baby shark have 10 billion views oof see like if the start, aliens watch I, uh, i should start what, doing uh, baby shark or what to gain my views <laughs> okay now the reason also mentioned by ahmed is that centripetal force like when you rotate something around something it will try to move outwards but because of the gravity of sun sun will pull the planets now which will have high gravity sun or earth which one will you have high gravity uh, sun sun yani the bigger sun. the body the bigger the object yeah the bigger is its gravitational force uh, force yeah what if it i think in uh, thermo the first time. so that's why they cancel out each other they balance each other and neither the earth goes towards the sun neither the earth goes away from the sun like mr it's like, like a, it's like a magnet that both magnets uh, in front of each other but both have the same uh, charge like positive and positive so they can't pull each other right uh, i will not say it's like a magnet because earth is not totally a magnet if an object will come it will like if some mars is uh, if some meteor is coming if some rock is coming in the atmosphere it will come down it will not bounce back in the space yes. that oh earth is a magnet i have to repel okay i will go away rain rain go away no no, no, no it will come like, down the atmosphere it's like a magnet by the example of uh, the sun and earth how they are pulling each other yes by that example okay by the pulling okay What is uh, asteroid belt? Who can tell me? Where does it lie? Where is asteroid belt here? Between Mars and Jupiter. Yes, between the yeah. border here. Yeah. Yes, between here. Now, what is the size of asteroids here? Are they very small or they are very 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 big also? Do you know like, any big asteroid? Uh, no. there is one that uh, like most of them are small like a little uh, like maybe less than one ton maybe they are they can be the size of our room they can be size of a football field but one asteroid uh, is very 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 big let me see in your book if it is mentioned no uh, mr uh, i i heard by information of this like the jupiter Uh, protected the earth by uh, by hundreds of asteroids that will uh, that was going to uh, be in the earth but the gravity of jupiter protected the earth it can be it can be possible yes. this chapter is uh, okay i got it yes i will i will bring a screenshot now i hit physics um, so adam is, is uh, adam is here to to show his presence that i am still in the class you know, yes. why no one is talking to me yes <laughs> so what he found out i had physics now you know he is there i want okay. to start the work <laughs> okay now mr from the hmm. of the text i know the, the last chapter i can see it the color of the text uh, also mr means uh, you are in another lesson Mr like, this is not in our book this is paragraph Oh oh it's not so we don't have this Yeah what series and the title of the paragraph have to be uh, dark blue 
maybe i yes. have another version old version or what i will show you some uh, kadim 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 uh, they said here uh, as block yeah. between mars and jupiter contains much smaller pieces uh, and uh, of rock and one dwarf, dwarf planet no this this page is not from your book this page yes. not no. No. mr walmart version uh, mr mm. it's not walmart uh, version this is the iphone version uh, Mr. Uh, Ali, you, Ali hmm? For you in our in your book, it's uh, chapter three, but in our book, it's chapter five. Or yeah, okay. Chapter so five. let's see. What I was saying that asteroids are very very small and very very big, but there is one asteroid which is very very big. See, the name is Ceres. Okay, is also a dwarf planet. It is one third the size of Moon. Moon is very very big, right? And it is one third of the moon. For example, if moon is like this, it is like moon over three. Okay, it's like this much size, but it is still big compared to yeah. other asteroids and dust and these rocks. Ceres is very very big. Okay. Like Mister, you can find the volume of Ceres by dividing the uh, volume of moon by three. So it'll get that. Uh, yes, it will give you approximate answer. Not exact, yeah. but like approximate. Now, lunar eclipse and solar eclipse. Are you guys familiar with this? It's the first time yes, to teach us by yeah. eclipse in the school. So I think it will be better if I explain it a little bit. Yeah. Yes? Yeah. So very, very we have sun here. Now, there are two possible. It's not sun. People will think I am supporting Spurs. What is happening? Okay. Uh. okay. Now, uh, there are two possibilities. Either the Earth can be in middle and Moon is at this end, mm -hmm. or there is another possibility that Moon, it's not messy, huh? it's Moon is here and Earth is here. Now, there are two possibilities, correct? Now, yeah. if the sun rays are coming like this, so Moon will be in the darkness? Yes. Because it is behind the shadow of Earth, correct? Who is yeah. messaging in the group? Hamad Ammar. Do I have to pay? 100 real you have to pay. Should I write it? Uh, like <laughs> each month if you enter all the... <coughs> each, uh, no, each second 100,000 real. Discount. By times 100. <laughs> do not do it. Do, do I have to pay? Okay. So, what happened? Okay, so there are two possibilities, right? The sun is there, earth is in the middle, and moon is here. So, when the light is going on, the moon will be in darkness in the first case, right? This is case yes. one. Mm -hmm. After a few yeah. days, what will happen? Moon will start moving because moon, moon is also rotating around the earth. So, after a few yeah. days, the moon will come here, which will bring us to second case, right? Yeah. Now, in this scenario, the moon, the, the sun rays are coming. Why the sun rays are black? When I have color. <laughs> Darkness, Mr. Darkness, from the inside and the outside. Yeah, see, look. Microsoft. Whiteboard, I love you for making this software for teachers. Okay. Now, now I think you guys can visualize it better. Adnan, can you visualize it? After all, Mister, if you want to explain the lunar, lunar eclipse in the uh, exam, we have only the blue band to write everything in blue and uh, draw. On the board? Uh, on the exam, in the exam. In the exam, ah. Yeah. Mr. Seals kept uh, telling us to illustrate and draw. What? In every quiz or exam, the Mr. Mr. Zakari says uh, to draw. To draw. Yes, it's good. He's not asking you to draw like uh, Leonardo da Vinci, like expert. He, it's <laughs> like simple. You can draw simple, this stuff. Okay. Am I drawing? Am I drawing this like like a, a perfect YouTuber no. artist? No, this is like for simple simple drawing. Everyone can do this, okay? 
Now, quickly understand, understand the concept because of there are so many things. We have done so much talking now. We should focus on understanding. Now, in the first case, what do you think will happen? The moon, moon will go dark, totally dark. Okay. In the second case, what will happen? We will, if you are standing here, what will you see? You will see that the moon has come between us and the sun. Did you get my point? If you are standing here, if you are human like me, okay? So you can see the moon is coming on the way between us, the earth yani, and the sun in middle, right? Yeah. Yes. And, and you must have seen solar eclipses that this is the sun and the moon is like here. Then after some moments, the moon will be here. And then after some moments, the moon will completely cover the sun for a few like minutes. Have you seen this video on YouTube? No. Uh, yeah, I'll they. Bring, uh... I'll bring a screenshot now. One time, Mister, uh, I like I went to the roof of the building to see the eclipse. It was uh, like uh, scary. What what are we advised to do during the eclipse in Islam? What are we advised? Uh, there is a salat, but uh, what was the name of it? Oh yes, salat al kusuf. Yeah, salat al kusuf. But also, Mister, uh, we're we're supposed to not look at it since it can damage our eyes. Yes. A solar eclipse happens. Cannot, well, see, what do you do? You guys see something on your screens? Yes. Yes. Yeah, Mister. Let me let me take a uh, back. Now that this is the moon, okay? Mm -hmm. This is the moon, and this is the sun. So the moon and sun are they of the same size in no. reality? No. Which is bigger? Sun. The Definitely sun. sun. Sun is like thousand times bigger. Moon is so small. But why in this image, moon and sun are looking almost same size? Who can tell because, me the reason? Because the earth is like uh, uh, the furthest from the sun. So it will be a smaller uh, uh, from this place. What about moon? Can I, can I join? Uh, yes, moon too. join. Because also, no, because I can't see the okay. distance and the, the right distance and size from the earth to exactly cover up the sun. It's yes, it's it's like this that because moon no. is very close, moon is very close, and sun is very, very far. But since the sun is so large that even though it is so many millions of kilometers away, still it is able to fit the size of moon almost. Now look, yeah. I, I'll just play this video and then I will come back to the worksheet. Okay, now this is the Total solar eclipse. What it is? Total. Total solar eclipse. Solar, solar eclipse. eclipse. Yes. And then after a few moments, what happens? Ah, yes. This is the description shown. Yeah, this is so good. Okay, now I will come back. Look, look, look. What is this? Distance between Earth and Sun. How much? And three million. million. 93 million miles and the distance between moon and earth not even 1 million 239,000 not yeah, even ruba like, million yani. this is ruba million yeah. less <laughs> okay. than quarter yes not less than quarter ah yes 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 less than quarter yes. quarter is 250 so, yeah. okay coming back Mister, is there in the math quarter angle? Quarter angle, no. Okay, so the first scenario is known as lunar eclipse, this one. And the second one, solar eclipse. And second one is solar eclipse. There is a different word for solar eclipse and there is a different word for lunar eclipse in Arabic. Yeah, right? uh, the lunar eclipse, uh, Kusuf, and the solar eclipse, Khusuf. Khusuf. 
Yeah. They are so similar in sound. I will write it also. Solar uh, and, which is Kusuf. Uh, yes, and, Kusuf. Yeah. Uh, uh, no, uh, the first one is Kusuf. This the, is Kusuf. The lunar eclipse. The lunar eclipse is Kusuf. Then the solar is Kusuf. Then why solar eclipse? It is written Kusuf in Google Translate. Google Translate is taking some extra substance or what? <laughs> <laughs> so what, what is this? Should I check it? You can. Let me check it. I think you guys are confused. And sometimes we use it in our uh, daily talking, Kusuf the word Kusuf and Kusuf. Yeah. Kasif and Kasif. I was correct. Look at this yeah. photo. What do you guys see? Kusuf Shams. Kusuf Shams. Yes. You guys are saying Kusuf Shams. Kusuf Shams. Like. Seta <coughs> Talatin. <coughs> <laughs> Solar eclipse. Okay, I'll write it quickly and then we will move on. Because, so, Mister, uh, also we, we use like the word kasif and khasif from these words in our daily talking. Like khasif. For what? Uh, For what? Uh, like uh, the word khas, uh, khusuf, uh, the, uh, the or original word is uh, khasif. Khasif means covering or like something like that. Okay. Khusuf al. الشمس 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 سوف القمر اوكي سو وي هاف ذس اوكي سو اف سمون اسكس يو تو اكسبلين يو كان درا ذس ديجرام سمبل ديجرام اونلي ون اف دي اسك يو لونر اكليبس درا ذا ابف ديجرام اف دي اسك يو سولار اكليبس يو كان درا ذا بيلو ديجرام اند يو كان جاست رايت تو سنتنسز اور ثري سنتنسز اكسبلينينغ ذا كونسيبت that in solar eclipse the earth is between sun and moon okay but what about a solar eclipse the moon is between earth and sun sun, sun. and then you can tell what are the effects the effects are in lunar eclipse the shadow of the earth completely covers the moon and moon disappears in the sky because it is total dark okay yeah. and in solar eclipse what happens the moon comes between earth and sun and what we see in the sky we see that the sun is covered by moon for few now eclipses are not always completely like fully it's not like always the sun is like this and the moon is covering yes. sometimes there are partial uh, uh, eclipses like the moon and then we come here and then next you will come here and then khalas he will move away yes. okay so he covered only like the bottom part something like that so the eclipses are not always uh, uh, total eclipse mostly there are partial eclipse mostly but total eclipses are very very rare yani they happen after a very long time okay but partial eclipses happen very frequently now why there are times uh, remember mr uh, in the in the first uh, meeting uh, when we uh, when you like uh, taught us physics in uh, the first meeting you remember in the uh, stories of the indian or uh, like ancient indian stories about the eclipses that uh, they uh, thought that the uh, moon eat the sun or uh, sometimes the uh, demons swallow the sun maybe maybe i don't remember okay why are the uh, tides formed you know what are tides i'm not talking about that tide uh, no <laughs> okay i'm not talking about this tide no you guys you guys you guys use tide or what or aerial or surface what do you guys use area can i answer barcel what barcelona no it's a tide ah parcel 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 barcelona fans malish i'm sorry yes Okay. Yes, Ahmed Fuad was saying something. Can I answer, Mister? I'm here only to answer. <laughs> Let me see how many guys are there in the class. I will ask someone else who is hiding since. Only Ahmed Fuad. 
Buzzer is not even answering. Buzzing. Buzzing. Yes. Buzzer, what are tides? Can you explain in simple language what are tides? I'm not asking why. I'm asking what. What are tides? Same here. Hmm? Spring tides. What are tides? I'm asking tides. What mean? What is the meaning? Yes. What is the meaning of tide? Um, water in the ocean is free hmm. to move. Is free to move. Okay, water is free to move. Okay, but what about tides? Who else can answer? Adnan, can you try? Yes. Hmm. Go for it. The tide is when, mm -hmm. like the water in beach, mm -hmm. goes up and down waves so hard. No, those are waves. Those are waves. Like you have this Cornish and you, you see the water like this. There are waves. The water is like coming and then people are using yeah. the surf surf boat and like people are standing on this. Yes, and the waves will come and they these guys will do boarding, surf boarding. Those are waves. Those are waves. I'm asking about tides. Did you understand this example of boarding? Yeah. You must have seen videos. Yes. The guys have this, wood, this wooden like this and it has some fins and they will, people will just stand on it and they will do some like tricks in water. Those are the tides. Mm -hmm. They are tides. Oh, sorry, they are the waves. I'm asking about tides. What are tides? Yes, Ahmad Fuad is uh, very easy to answer. Maybe not. Or you should uh, uh, go for it. Uh, I mean, sir. Are part of water like that on, uh, on the edge uh, and are on the edge of that, like on, on the let, surface? Let, and let then, Yusuf answer for this one. <laughs> let, let me see what Yusuf has to say for this. Uh, okay, so I know it's meaning in Arabic, but I think in English, like uh, the rise and fall of water, or like when water comes to the, uh, for example, uh, to the, any, but can I say it in Arabic, sir? I think I know it in Arabic. <laughs> I don't understand that <laughs> no, much. <laughs> I can only say simple words and that's all. Okay, I must what then go for it. Okay, when uh, the the moon and the sun uh, mm -hmm. attract the water from the earth up a little, they produce tides. And when the tides are the water that are slightly or uh, above the water, like for example, not like the waves, but sometimes it goes further in, uh, like yeah. sometimes in the be beach shore, that the waves yeah. go a little a little longer like uh, go further and sometimes they go smaller now look at this photo yeah Everyone... i had i uh, i'm sorry i'm sorry it's called the same little, scenario little. same photo same bridge okay but no this is not the beach i think this is called dock or or harbor something like yeah. that yeah. so the same harbor but on the same harbor water is nowhere to be found here but in the left scenario the water is filled. What does it mean? Where is yeah. the high tide and where is the low tide? The high tide uh, is the, the, uh, the left. Yeah. High tide is yes. on the left. High tide is on the right. Mr. Just, tides in the uh, in Arabic is called Madwa Jazar. Mr. Uh, they are also called in the book. Uh, the high tide is the spring tide and the low tide is the neat tide. Okay. Okay. So, how are tides formed and what are tides? Tides are like the level of water in the ocean rises or falls, okay? This is the level. It remains for a very long time in during day. And yani, high tide and low tide can occur one after the other. And to bring you the diagram, I'll bring you the diagram because the diagram in your answer sheet is also good. I will bring the same diagram. Now, before in the class, I told you there are gravity, there is gravity acting in on Earth. From what? From big bodies like 
from sun. Now, look. When the earth is here, this is the earth, this is the moon, this is the sun, and in the middle is moon. Okay, now, if the water is here, water, water will be attracted by the gravity of moon and the sun, right? Yeah. So in this scenario, what will happen? The moon as well as the sun, both of these guys, okay, the combination of these guys, they will try to attract the water. What will happen? The water will start like, it will not go in the sky, but it is just shown for you to understand the concept. Okay? It's not like rea reality, like water is coming so far and it, it the earth became like egg shape. No. Okay? This is just for your demonstration. Yeah. Okay? So what is spring tide when all the things come in a straight line like this? Like if the sun is here and moon is here and earth is here or the sun is here, earth is here, and moon on the other side. Yani they are coming in a straight line, okay? This is known as spring tide. Mr. This and the height of the tide time. will be very Align. high. Mr. It's aligned, Align. yes. But if they are at 90 degrees, like sun is like here and moon is here, like this, 90 degree, okay? Or the moon is here. The moon is here and like this. So it is 90 degree, right? In this yes. case, the tides will not be very high. These type of tides are known as neap tides. N-E-A-P. Neap. Okay. And when they are aligned, when they are in a straight line, spring tides. Okay. But mister, when they are in a straight line, it will form an eclipse, right? An eclipse. Yes. Yes, both, both of the concepts will happen. Very good. Eclipse will also happen and the tides will also, can also be observed. Now I will show you one example in India, which is very famous for uh, tides. Mr. Tides in Arabic is called Medvajazar. Oh, you are giving so much information, I can't process. Now, there is a graveyard in Mumbai. I love Jazur. Okay. Now, uh, this is not masjid, okay? This is graveyard. I don't know. They are doing some business. You know, guys, already. I'm not going to explain what business they are doing. Okay. Graveyard. What I, what I am trying to show you, this bridge, this road, after the high tide, it disappears. Only you can see this graveyard. How? I will show you the photo. Mister, does it happen because of eroding? Like it disappears, all of it? Or does the water no, like... No. Look, look. Now look at this photo. Look at this photo. What do you think? Totally disappeared. Same, same stuff. Okay. Now what is happening? During the low tide, the water level goes very, very down. And you can see everything. But during the high tide, Everything is gone. Look, you can see the, the street light only and you can see the waves hitting the road. Yes? Yes. Yeah. So this, this is a very good example. Uh, this is in Mumbai. Okay. Now, geocentric and heliocentric, I explained very, very well last time. I think I don't need to go. I will just ask a short description, brother. Can you tell me what is the difference between geocentric and heliocentric? What is the meaning of geo? And what is the meaning of helio? Okay. Geocentric, hmm. they was thinking about in the past. It's wrong. Okay, but what were, but what were they thinking? You have to tell the concept. What were they thinking? Tell me. Examples? Yes, what is, yes, what did they think? What is wrong and what is right now? Tell me. What did they think that was wrong? They thought the, um, the earth did not move, but the stars and the plants moves around the, the earth. 
Yes, they were saying that Earth is in the center yes. of the solar system and the other things, moon and sun, they revolve around it. This was the geocentric concept. Geocentric concept was challenged by what concept? Heliocentric concept. Okay, what does helio concept, uh, heliocentric concept says? Unknown. You already Me? learned. Me too, Mr. Earth in the center. Mr. G and Helio are words from the Greek solar language. Right? System. Yes, no, no, yes, Mr. Uh, G was in the middle. The sun was at the center of the universe. Of solar system. Sun yes. in Mr. the center. Mm. The, both of them are in the book, it includes in the middle of the universe. No, no, Mr. Yeah. It's in the universe because uh, like heliocentric is uh, right in everything, but th there is only one thing wrong because they said that uh, the sun is at the center of the universe, but it have to be at the center of the solar system. I, have to I be noted like this point when I was teaching this chapter to you. Uh, you, uh, you I think I was saying that why did they mention universe, then later they realized. It's in the, uh, they said in the story that it's in the universe because they didn't feel the moving. Then the uh, scientists that formed the heliocentric model uh, came and said that the sun is at the center of the universe, not at the center of the solar system. Now also, Mr. the geocentric is also at the middle of the universe because they said that everything falls down. Uh, uh, so the earth has, like everything falls down to the universe. So the earth had to be at the middle of the universe. Yes. Let me see That's what it does it say. Let me see what does it say in my book. Day and night. No. Mister, you got scammed. What? You got scammed, Mister, for the book. I did not got scammed. I'm having the free PDF of everything. <laughs> How do I get scammed? <laughs> <laughs> you got scammed at the time. That's what happened. Scammed for 20 seconds. When the scammer gets scammed, huh? <laughs> Wait, I'm trying to find out. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm I'm still finding. Okay, I'll find it later. And I'll post it in the group if I remember. The definition of geocentric and heliocentric in my uh, book in my Walmart edition book. Okay. Now, heliocentric is asked. I already explained. Now, discuss where does charge come from? Now, how many types Can of I charge answer? are there? You guys already know positive and negative. Can I answer, Mr. Arjuk? Arjuk? Can I answer? Ah, ah Arjuk, I'm requesting you. Huh? <laughs> yes. Uh, so can I answer? Okay. Okay. In the inside the atom, there are positive and negative. Uh, uh, there are positive and negative from the elect. The electrons are negatively charged uh, because when uh, and the elect and the protons are positively charged. Whenever like there is one uh, one one missing proton or one missing neutron, then the atom uh, will become charged. That's where the charge comes from uh, because okay. it. it because of the electric region, uh, one like the furthest electrons get sent to the other things, which will give them, which will give this, them positive charge. This concept you will study in detail in chemistry. Okay, this concept. I don't know why. No, they just gave you a small description, but. In detail, mm -hmm. what are electrons, what are its properties, nucleus, proton, neutron, these concepts you will mm -hmm. study in detail in chemistry. Okay? Mm -hmm. Okay. So, as the name suggests, proton has what charge? P for proton, P for positive. Okay? N for or neutron, plus. N for neutral. So, when you know these two, the remaining is what? Negative electron. You guys understand? Yes. That proton are positively charged things. 
and neutron does not have any charge they are neither uh, positive nor negative now tell Sir, me just... if you have two min two plus guys here and you have two minus guys here they will cancel out each other they will balance yeah it will be neutron so what will be the overall charge of the atom no charge neutral. it will be neutral yes. that's why it is mentioned here atoms are neutral now case 2 if i steal this electron okay now you have one negative and two positive now which one is dominant positive is dominant or more and or electrical is negative more electrons Proton. are more protons are more so what will be the overall charge of the atom positive 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 because there are two positive guys but only one negative guy they cannot uh withstand yes okay? so overall it will be positive charge okay so where does charge come from charge come from the deficiency or excess of a charge if a charge is more than the other charge or if a charge is less than the other charge there will be some overall charge for the atom it can be either positive or negative but if the numbers are equal like 5 minus and 5 plus so they will cancel out each other there will be no charging it will be neutral draw the circuit diagram of the following circuit for following circuit electric circuit what english is this uh, uh, mr there is a there is a circuit diagram for following circuit electric following electric circuit sir this word is uh, i need to erase this boy Uh, How can Dwight. I erase this? Now see, it is disappearing. It disappeared. Yes. Um, see, I have also is, invisible ink sometimes. Hmm. There is a picture of this uh, question in the in our book. If you can find it in your book, it's like drawing things for the electric circuit. Uh, Now let me see in my like let me see in my Walmart edition. Uh, uh, Mister, I'll, I'll bring my book and I'll send you the message. If you don't have it. I have I have this code energy energy earth forces sound light magnetism forces electricity any disturbance anyone has some digestive issues hmm mister issues are fighting back <laughs> <laughs> I found something positively and cloth digital electric circuit I found it it's in my Walmart edition yeah look Do you have this page in your book uh this is chapter 9 what yeah yeah we have the same uh, let's yeah. see okay now yes. if you look if you look closely how many things are here uh 1 2 3 uh five. you have five. you have this battery five five wait what is this this is the battery yeah uh, yeah it has you can see this minus yes you, you can call it cell you can call it battery in india we call it cell okay so mr in the And physics we have better in the physics they say the book says we have to use the, like the battery must be for two cells in physics but in normally yes so then you have it is connected to a what a um, switch a switch this is switch yeah Then a you lamp. Turn off. You can turn on or off the electric. Mister, how we will know if the switch is on or off? So the Mister said you. This diagram. Yeah. Or in any Mr. diagram. No, you can see the needle is not on zero. Okay. Oh, from the ammeter. Oh. The... Okay. It's zero okay. point two. See, <laughs> he's so accurate. Zero point two. It was Badar or who? Who was that? Badar, yes. Yes. Wow, amazing. Yes. If this is zero point five, this is one. Now we are going to mathematics, huh? There was a chapter like this, that this is zero, and like 
this is 0 0.5. So how much is this? So this will 0 be 0 0.2. 0.2. Yes, very, very good. Okay, so this can be drawn. Now, this can be drawn like what? This is a battery, so battery is represented like this. Okay, it means what? If you see a battery, if you see a cell, it looks like this. Yes or no? Yes. Okay, yes, but yes. in electric circuit diagram, we cannot make spend so much time to draw these things. So what we do? This. Yes. If you want to make it even more powerful, we can increase some more layers. Okay, yes. so it, it is um, like a big battery. Big Mr. Battery. I can draw it like the upper one. Like upper one? Which one? This one? Yes. yes. No, no, no. In electric diagram, electric circuit, you don't draw it like this. You have to draw with the symbols that the scientists use already. You cannot create your own version. Also, okay. which one first? So which one first? The longer side is the... Wait, brother is also... asking something. Which one the first? The line, the this line. Which, which one the first? You mean this? Yeah. Which one? See, yeah. I will tell you where this small line is ending. That is the positive side. If you want to make a cell like this, if you want to make a cell like this, what will you make? You will do in like this. You understand? Yeah. Now in this diagram, where is the tip? here so it is like this not like this you understand is everyone understanding yes. the reason very very yes. simple this is very simple okay so what they did they have already created the diagram in the book if you see in your answer key they have just used this which is also okay this is this means very small like less powerful battery but if you want to make it like uh, Oppo and Vivo charger, like 65 watt charger, bring it like this. It is very, very powerful. Okay. Also, so Mr. Uh, Mr. Yeah. Now, ammeter. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. I need to finish it. This is ammeter. It calculates yes. the ampere level. Okay. Now, ampere level, you can just make a circle and A. That's all. You don't yeah. need to draw A and then this and the needle and point one. No. Okay. Mr. I sent you a picture. You can see it for this uh, uh, question. Okay, I will, I will look at it. And now, Mr. what are the devices connected? There are two bulbs connected, right? I will yeah. make circle and X. You can yeah, make circle and X and you can make uh, like this also. Okay, if your answer key is telling make X, I will make X. No problem. Okay. So, this bulb are represented by X. And then there is one thing missing, this switch. Yeah. Okay. So switch, you can just make it like this. Uh, it means what? And... It is open, open circuit. Yeah. But, but you have to... but... wait, wait, wait. But wait, wait. Mr. Two bulbs. Two bulbs? Okay, you can present them in, in one here and one here. Yes. You can see, you see the ammeter in the center. You see one bulb here and you see one bulb here. So you can make one bulb here, one bulb here, and then instead of making the switch open, make it closed, like here, because it, it should touch. It should touch this end. Otherwise, there will be no flow of electricity. Yes, I am. Uh, okay, so in the diagrams they put beside the meter, like how many it measures? Is mm. it necessary, like needed? No, 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 no. It's not necessary in a simple circuit diagram that you have to mention it is 0 0.2 ampere. No need, no need. Okay. Because also, Mr. Uh, the, he, all of the diagrams in the book have uh, like 0 0.2, 0 0.5 beside them always. See, it's not necessary. If you draw it, it is good, good information. You are giving good information. But it is not like if you don't make it, it is a wrong diagram. It's like you are not presenting the... Uh, info. I will make the bulb here and it is connected to here. That's what. Yes. Okay. So if you want, I can I can write it, no problem. This is 0 0.2, I will make it 0 0.2. But okay. Mr. Mr. Uh, uh, I wrong, Mr. It's uh, 0 0.199. 
ماشي اوكي مستر ويت ويت اي هاف ا كول ناو ويت Stop. Better, خلاص. Amir sent me some uh, symbols. Yeah, this is from the book. Oh, good. This is from your book? Then yeah. why? My book does not have this. It must be heavy. Uh, and see, Mister, there is something like we didn't use in the uh, in the diagrams. The buzzer. What is the buzzer? Is it like this? The... To make sound. To make sound. Like this. I, I'll send you. I, I'll send you a picture. I know. It's not zoop. It's not zoop. Yes. This one, Mister. I sent you. See, these are the symbols. Also, I think the motor. Yeah, and also the motor we didn't use in the in our diagram. For example, you are on a construction site, okay? Yeah. And you are electrical engineer, and you want to tell your worker that is working on the field actually, because the engineer is not actually working on the field, right? He will just yes. give the instructions. The engineer will not hold the brick and apply the cement on the wall. He will give the instructions to the supervisor and to, I mean, to the to the supervisor of the laborers, to the supervisor of the army, right? Because you have engineer, below engineer, you have supervisor of the labor. This supervisor will tell this guy, this guy, this guy, this guy, this is labor number one, this is labor two, this is labor three, this is labor four, right? This supervisor of labor will tell them the task and these labor or these technician will do the task on the construction site. Am I correct? But mister, uh, no, but mister, what but mister, yes or no I'm saying? Yes, I understand. Now, this engineer, how will he give the instructions to the labor boss? He will give some drawings. The engineer will give some drawings of the site that this is the building. And here, the electric wires are going. And then here we have some like bulbs and some switches. He will not draw a diagram there. Oh, this is a bulb. And these are the switches, cut, 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 on and off. No, he will just give him a chart, a paper on which the electric circuit will be drawn. Okay. And then this guy will give the instruction and then they will make like this. They will put some wiring and put some bulbs and uh, distribution panel, these things. So that's why these things are important for uh, engineering line. For likely, if you are electrical engineer, you should know these things later. I'll give you a small photo now. Electric. Mister. Hmm? What's buzzer? I'm telling. Electric circuit diagram. I will show you something. Mister. Okay, now don't just faint after looking at the photo. This photo is very, very dangerous. What? The Delay. photo is uh, questions? Now look at this electric circuit. This is, the, this is the actual, when you come to engineering, when you come to Saudi Arabia, you work like this, if you are an electrical engineer, okay? <laughs> that's why that's why that's why you earn so much money 
because this is not like daily task this is a difficult task but when when you once you do it for a long time you become expert in this then this is baby <laughs> stuff for you <laughs> this is baby shark for you uh, mr <laughs> my father my father is an electrical engineer he uses uh, all these maps oh, in his work now you have to ask him today to share his experience one okay? thing is that yes mr. it looks like more code but worse <laughs> It looks like so, a QR code, Mister. See, see, no problem. These are like if you zoom in here, you will see some symbols. If you go to this area, you will see some symbols. And what is the meaning of symbols? It is sometimes shown below, like legends. You know what are legends? Legends means this. That this symbol is for this. This symbol means this. This symbol means this. This all is known as legends. Can you write okay. the words? But Mister, what is the motor? Motor. The, when you pass the electricity, it starts moving like you have in fan, like you have in a washing machine. That motors. Oh. And the buzzer, like how we can use it in the in the circuit. Buzzer is like you are in an office. And you want to call someone outside, it's like a buzzer, beep beep. Like you have some horn or some electric signal on your table. You want to call the guy for tea, or you want to call the guy for coffee. You have some electric buzzer. You press the button, and the sound speaker will give the sound. So the so the peon or the clerk outside he can listen. Okay, my boss is calling me for uh, something. Then he will come. That is the buzzer. It creates a sound. Okay, or the buzzer can be for in case of emergency, like what? Like if there is a fire, then what will happen? The sensors in the ceiling, you have this room, okay? You have this room and on the ceiling, you have some okay. sensor here, sensor. Now, if you have a table here and yeah. it, got, it got fire, what will happen? The smoke you... will go inside the sensor. You... Yes, yes. So the sensor will start blowing up with sound, yeah. some alert or sort of thing. So these things are known as like buzzer. You can call it buzzer because it is using electricity to al alarm you. That's why it, when it is used in electric circle, circuit, it is known as buzzer. You want to know the definition of buzzer? Now look at this screenshot. Wait, wait, wait. I'm bringing a, a screenshot now. I thought the buzzer like it's uh, the fi el fish. What is fish? Samak? No, like in the charger, the end of it, when you put it to the electricity. So there is a sound coming only, like that, when it gets connected. Okay, look at the definition of buzzer. A buzzer is understood as a device that creates an audible tone, yes? under the influence of applied external voltage. This output may either be in form of buzzing or a beep sound. This is a result of induced rapid movement created in the diaphragm of the buzzer. Okay, these things you will study in too much detail when you go for like higher grades or electrical engineering. But normally you will not use so many things in, in this electric circuit, okay? Now, Okay, this is gone now. Explain the rope model to explain the electric circuit. Can I see, Mister? Can I? Uh, no. Why? I'm joking. <laughs> who else joke? is? Who else? Who else wants to give the answer? I will bring the screenshot now. Smile is not there today, huh? Yeah, Mr. You have a dentist uh, moment. Appointment. Point. Okay. Explain the rope model to explain the electric circuit. Rope is the Hubble, yes? Yes. Yeah, uh, um, it represents uh, the electrons. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. 
So one way of modeling what is happening in a circuit is to use a piece of rope. The rope is tied to make a continuous loop. One person is the battery and another person is the lamp. Okay. Who is eating Oreo? Eating that was Mister. So this is an activity. Okay, this is an activity to demonstrate the flow of electricity or electric current. Now, what is happening? Person X moves the rope around the circle by pulling through his hands. Okay, so this knot. You can see this knot. What do you call this in uh, Arabic? There is some ukat or what you call it? Surah Nas, I think, or Surah Falak. Do you have this knot? K N O T S. This is zappa. Not ukat. What? Ukad. No. We could have rapta in Syria. Pull around your bifalak min sharin and khalak min sharin qasipin ida waqadu wa min sharin nafasati fil uqad. This uqad, this is not knots. Yeah, uqda. Yeah, uqda or rapta. Yes. Okay, okay, uqda. Okay. Uqda. What? I, I think uh, the awkward is nuts. I thought that was uh, the rope, the rope itself. Like, I think I sh like my mother told me to see that it would like they uh, breathe into ropes and uh, act like it's magic. I think uh, that was, I thought the tradition, yeah, that was, I think, the tradition that time. So, to counteract those black magic, our Nabi Sallallahu he used the Surah Falaq and Surah Nas. And also, like when he, uh, when uh, I don't remember, I think it's Musa when he threw uh, the stick, it became a snake. I think. Yes, that was Musa. Okay, let's continue. So, person X moves the rope around the circle by pulling it through his hands. This is like the battery pushing the charges. So, this experiment, this activity is very good. Okay, so these guys are moving the rope in this direction. Okay. So this knot, it is here. After some times, what will happen? The knot will be here. Then after some time, the knot will be here. Then after some time, knot will be here. So it's rotating. Okay. This is like a battery pushing the charges. Now what will happen? Person Y grips the rope gently and can feel it moving through. His hands get warm. His hands get warm. Why? Because of the friction. Okay, this is like what happens in a lamp. The filament of the lamp gets so hot that it gives out light. So this experiment is the rope model experiment to demonstrate the electric current flow. I think there are only two questions remaining and then we can finish the session if you guys want because it's like we did it most of the things. No need for making it two hours or what you guys say? Two hours. Just <laughs> this two like these two questions are okay, sufficient, or you guys want to ask some more questions? You can ask, you are free to ask. Okay, I have an idea, I have an idea. I have an idea. I will explain these two things. Then I will take a 15 minutes break. If you guys have confusion, you can tell me privately. Then I will make the session after 15 minutes. If no one asks me a question, khalas, that 15 minutes, I will end the call after 15 minutes. Clear? Yeah? But yeah. Yes. Why, why, why? Okay. Why like Mr. Now I have something to ask about. Why Mr. Oh. Now question number 12. Discuss what will be happen for the electric current in the flowing cases. Increase identical lamb. Lamb. <laughs> guys, Arab guys, please, please. Lamb, you know what is lamb? <laughs> That yeah. is the lamb. Mazra, Mr. Mazra. Yes, Mazra Karib. Wamin Mandi. Wamandi Bardu Karib. Come on. Waladiz. Lakin Khadi. Jiddan Mandi, huh? Mandi Jamal. Mr. Lamb. Lamb will go away. Chicken. <laughs> Increase identical lamp in series in the electric current. 
ओके यानी यू हैव अ सर्किट यू हैव अ सर्किट एंड यू हैव मेनी लैम्प्स लेट्स टेक थ्री लैम्प्स कतीर 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 यस एंड देन यू हैव अ स्विच आल्सो यू कैन अबर लाइक दिस नाउ you are increasing the number of lamps what will happen the, the the lamp will become dim because if there are two lamps before this guy is not there okay there is more resistance there, there will be more resistance yani if you are applying multiple bulbs here and bulb here and bulb here what will be the brightness of the bulb it will start go it will start going on decreasing as you increase yeah, the number of bulbs the, the amperes will be reduced Yes, because see, you are not increasing the battery level, but you are increasing the consumption. Yeah. Yeah. So what will happen? Less, uh, less light from the lamps. Yes. The, uh, the lamps will dim. If you add an ammeter, Mister, add an ammeter, and it will have a lower reading. And the flow of charge will be. Yes, less. you can, you can, you can uh, in include the ammeter also to get the the measurements. to get the values okay. but even if you don't include the ammeter will the lamps get dimmer definitely yes yes ammeter is not making the circuit work ammeter is only to measure the am ampere yeah. level but even well, like if you remove ampere ammeter if you remove the ammeter still if you connect it it will work well. okay it's not like an ammeter is the compulsory thing it's not but it's good yani you should know the values how much ampere is running in the current now second case increase the number of batteries so Can batteries uh, there's okay mr you already increased it like uh, there is uh, cells of batteries four batteries mm. what's the problem The flow of charge. Uh, can I say, sir? Yes. The flow. Uh, the flow of charge will increase. Uh, the the lights will be. Uh, the lamps will be brighter. Uh, yes. And if an uh, ammeter is connected, what can you see the difference? The amperes will be higher. For example, the ampere will be higher. Yes. Four. The reading. Yes. The reading will go up. Like for example, it was previously zero point two. Now it might be zero point four, or zero point three, yeah. something like that. Okay. so it will increase okay now last one explain the water circuit model okay now they explain I, circuit I... they explain electric circuit earlier through what example rope the model rope model now they are explaining the electric circuit through another model what model water circuit model water circuit can i, I will bring the screenshot i like mr answering a lot can i now do this one <laughs> You want to answer each and every question or what? But Mr. I think the best one who is answering the best this is not in the worksheet. There is also another model, the factory model and the people model. It's like uh, uh, trucks that get from the factory bread and get it to the shop. It's like a better so model than that. Let's have a look. Let's have a look here. Okay, the pipes are like the wires in a circuit. the water is like charges now you have this pump what will pump to it has some blades what they will do they will push the water here oh yes or no adam is not yeah. replying from so long he is not uh, speaking anything yes i'm here pastor but you are not answering anything what happened yeah. Why? Badar, please stop playing. <laughs> okay. Adam, yes, you know this uh, uh, water model. Yes, I yeah, know water. I, the drink. Book. How many Adams are there in the group? I hope only one. I I know water, not water uh, pump. Uh, so not water circuit model. Oh, I am asking Adam. I I said a whole different answer. You are just one mute button away from me. You know that. 
Okay. Adam, continue. Uh, I saw this more in the book. Mm -hmm. It's not very clear. I will explain. Okay. Now, you know what is tap? It's uh, like there is a pipe like the walls in the city. You can turn on and off the flow of water. The tap like... Okay. Um, tap, like the tap, like the tap you have in your houses. Yeah, it's, so is it like a circuit? Or I mean like the this, this, switch? This tap, this, yeah. this water tap you have from which the Merinda comes out. I mean water comes out, okay? So this is the tap. You can off it, you can on it. Now. So it's like a switch. Yeah. Like a switch, like yes. You switch. can say it's like a switch, like a regulator, like a switch. Very good. So water is flowing and this pump is pushing the water very strongly here. What will happen? Yeah. The water will come collected here. If the tap is open, then only the water will pass. But yeah. if the tap is not pipe. open, the water will just collect it, get collected here and pressure, pressure, but it will not pass through. Yeah, right? But Mr. Okay. If there was if there was a lot of water, the tab will be broken or what? Aywa, aywa, ya Mohandis, aywa. It will break. Okay. <laughs> now you have to understand the concept here. They are only explaining the electric concept here. There is nothing like this. What they is are just demonstrating. Okay. Now there is a narrow pipe. Yes. What is it's it? It's like for? the wire. Narrow pipe, narrow pipe. Yeah, it's, narrow pipe is like a wire that uh, uh, the water the, goes, uh, uh, the charges go through. The pipes yeah, are like, the pipes are like wires. These are the pipes. Yeah. Everywhere. Yes. You here, bought them. And here, and here, and here. And now, the, the water is like, is like the, the charges. The pump pushes the water around the pipe. The tap can stop the water like a switch can stop the current. The meter measures the flow like an ammeter in a circuit. However, some people think that the insulation around a copper wire is holding the electrons in like the pipe holding the water in. This is not correct. Water can leak out of pipes, but electrons cannot leak out of wire. Okay, so this now I'm thinking why this uh, pipe is narrow from here. Uh, Mister. Yes. Uh, I think you just bought a cheaper pipe. No. Uh, I think it makes the water uh, like it goes through high easily. pressure. Maybe maybe uh, it creates a high pressure here because it's very narrow. Yeah. Maybe. So water will move very quickly. Yeah. Or it just like uh, compacts the water together, so it takes like less space. What? Like uh, it uh, compresses them like a little bit. It compresses means what? The pressure will get increased because if you compress yeah. this pipe, the water will come out very fast. And then yes. I think they will record what is the pressure here, which is actually telling you what? Like an ammeter. This guy is working like an ammeter. A meter and the uh, water and the water that is flowing these are like what charges the water inside these are like charges so this is like a demonstration only there is nothing like that if you go to the lab okay this is just for you to understand the concept understand the concept I, only okay i have a question an important question how do you know like which, uh, for example, in uh, in the protons, uh, like when some, for example, something loses an electron and gives it to the other, how do you know which is going to be positively charged or which one is going to be negatively charged without like see, having to... See, the scientists have already demonstrated so many experiments and they have given the label that magnesium has positive electrons outside, oh. Clo chlorine has negative electrons outside, they have already done the experiment. I will. Have you studied periodic table in chemistry? Yeah. Yes, it's good too. Okay. Yes, so with the help of periodic table, you can find their atomic mass and mass number. 
and yeah. then in later grades you will calculate that this material has so many electrons in the outside so overall it is positive overall it is negative okay. overall it is non reactive you will study different types of elements then it will be okay. clear for you okay the question is sir uh, like the rings on the sun is it uh, on your rings you know mr tatar uh, on your rings in the journal ish sonic rings mr sonic rings so i think uh, mr i sent you another model see it and what's it i think we can uh, what do you guys say i think uh, what are Ah, okay. Ask, okay. Now can you can you ask me the that, questions. Can you you can ask me the questions? Can you explain that last model, Mister, that I sent you? You don't know that model. Which model? The one you sent to me. Uh, the factory. Hmm. Like you can explain it so we can understand it more. Everyone is hungry now. He is asking Anian now. He is giving bread example. What is happening? And some Arabic and some Arabic is also written. Kahraba, electricity, and another Tamiz. example. And this is reverse Arabic. Wow. Yes, I know how to write reverse Arabic. Wow. Mashallah, if I you will read normal Arabic writing, then how will I read this? It looks like Hindi, Mister, but worse. Well, I'm I'm not that bad. Hell and Tahari. Let's look for Tahari. Wow! 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 Bring your mobiles and take a reflection of this. Wow! Hell and Tahari. Wow! From the, your mobile screen, you can find a reflection, mirror image. Mister, it looks like an O, Mister, not a H. La, look in your mirror. Look in your mirror. Look in your mobile. Wow. Hal and the tariff. I will. I will. I will show you. You can reflect the. Oh I will, yes. I will do the mirror image and show you. You guys think that uh, this guy is baby? But oh. Mr. Diana, what I wrote. I wrote the uh, the thing that is written in English in a reverse Arabic. I wrote a sharika, a shikel, wa al nas shikel. Wa sharika aramku. Sharika aramku. Who's sending you what? Look at this. Look at this. And Arabic guy can at least read it. It's so visible, clear. Yes, hal anta ta'arif. Wow, Anta is so perfect. How is Anta so perfect? Yes, it's more perfect than the fa in the last sentence. The fa looks like it's a water slide, Mister. <laughs> fa needs to have a little bit of uh, this height. The, the, the Mister is literally a water slide. In Urdu, we make ra like this. In Urdu, we make ra like this. Anyways, 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 anyways. Quickly, I will finish this one. Now, what I can see, there is a factory, okay, and factory is making bread, and it's delivering the bread here, and then it's releasing all of the bread at the shop. Sure. And after delivering all the bread at the shop, the truck is now empty, and it is going back to the factory. Now, how it is related to our uh, electric current? Now, let's read some. Uh, notes. Okay, the pots of sweets is like the battery. People carrying the sweets are like the charges flowing in the current. So these guys, they are like the charges. They are moving inside the circuit. Okay, they are moving inside the circuit. And what happens? Another person eating the sweets is like the lamp. Okay, the charges. They are consuming the electricity. Okay. And the sweets represent the energy that is being transferred from what? From battery to the lamp. So this yeah. is like a battery. Okay. Yes. Uh, so, Are you sharing yes. the screen? 
What? Are you sharing the screen? Yes. From long time, I you can't see? see. No, no, no. Now I like stopped. Okay, now you can see. Okay. So yes, any more questions or should I end the call? Tell me. Mr. Adnan, brother. Uh, hmm? In question 12, the answer key is not like yours. It's too much writing. Okay. I already, I, I, I did not write the answer. I will bring the screenshot. I already explained to you verbally, but still I will bring the uh, screenshot. Uh, Mister. Mister. <laughs> yes, sir. Uh, Mister. Uh, 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 what if I call you? Uh, what if I call you human? Better? Okay. Now there are the things given that I already told you. That what will happen if there are two lamps now? And if you increase one more lamp, what will happen? They will become less bright or they will become dimmer. Less bright means what? Dim. Dimmer. Okay. Now this is what they have used here. The yeah. lamps are now dimmer. I can't okay? see. Can't see what? You can't see this? The screen. Really? Let me reshare. I have, I'm only hearing you. Yes. Is I it can't. the same for everyone? Yes. No, I can't what see. Um, no, is there any internet issue or what? I don't know. Now it comes. It comes. It's it 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 is appearing to everyone or still yes. not? Yes. Yeah. Yes. This is appearing for me. So Adnan, quickly I will answer your query because now we have Salah time here. Uh, before we had only two lamps. Now you include one more lamp. These two lamps is nowhere written in the question. I am just explaining from my side, okay? I am just giving you initial condition. What is the starting condition? There were only two lamps. Now, if you keep the same battery, but bring one more lamp, what will happen? The brightness will remain same or brightness will increase or brightness will decrease, Adnan? The brightness will de decrease. Will decrease. So decrease brightness means what? Dim. Okay. And the ammeter reading will be less. Why less? Because this is the same only one guy cooking the food. But they are eating, now they are eating all at the same time, though, so the ampere level will be very less this time. But if you remove one lamp, what will happen to the ampere ammeter? If you remove one lamp, the ammeter will be more. And if you remove one more lamp, it will be more. It will be more than the previous situation. Okay. Yeah. And then so next. Increase the number of battery. Now, if you increase the number of battery, definitely the lamp brightness will increase. And what will happen to the ammeter, Adnan? If you increase battery, the ammeter will increase in value or decrease in value? Increase. Increase because you are increasing the battery. If this is one battery, I inc include one battery here. Okay. You cannot add the battery in opposite direction. It will be very dangerous. If you have this battery, okay, and you add another battery from the face, will it work or will it create a spark and damage the battery? It will damage. Yeah, damage. Okay. So in this situation, you have to bring it in, in the same direction. Now you can make a circuit. This is the proper way to add batteries. But this combination is very dangerous and not advisable. Yani don't try this at home. Huh? <laughs> okay. Mister. Now I will end the call. Mister. 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 Mister.
it will show the highest value of off as much as the ampere is there in the battery because bigger battery has bigger ampere level and smaller battery has smaller ampere level okay for example on the cell if it is written that it is a 0.3 ampere cell battery okay and you do not include any lamp so the reading will be almost 0.3 because some energy will be lost in the wire okay so your ammeter might show 0.299 okay 0.9 so that's uh, all for today but and, mister uh, mm. like the uh, the power of ampere for the lamps uh, mm. depends on the amperes from the battery right yes definitely because who is supplying the ampere who is supplying the current the battery the battery so bigger the battery more is the ampere level smaller is the battery less is the ampere level like here mr when you uh, uh, made here the ampere of the battery 0.3 and there is a three lamps so each lamp will get 0.1 ampere it depends on their consumption level if the lamp is very very strong oh. it will take too much ampere like sometimes it can be 1.5 1 and uh, 1.5 like that. like it can be different right you will yes you will read some some numericals i think yeah. in grade 8 or 9 they will give you that one bulb this is the resistance of one bulb resistance is calculated by this unit ohm and if yeah. 5 ohm is the resistance 10 ohm is the resistance of lamp number 2 uh, 15 ohm is the resistance of lamp 3 and we are using a battery of 10 ampere and 200 volt now calculate the uh, ampere in the circuit or calculate the voltage in the circuit or calculate the resistance in the circuit these type of numericals you will study in bigger grades mm -hmm. okay mr anandi suel come suel million can you go up mr yes definitely yeah and you know the map you said about the engineering can you try to scan it if, to see if the computer takes the qr codes because <laughs> it's okay If the computer thinks that the QR code, it would be much funnier. Okay. Oh, no, I, I think. Uh, I will go masjid now. Okay. I have another. No other questions. You can end the class. I give you. So if you don't have, so if you don't have question, I can end the class. Any other students are just here for yeah. fun or what? <laughs> Only you are allowed to ask the question. Wow. Mr no one is talking there are just npcs i'm the only one they answering are, they are waiting for you to end you are pak 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 then they will ask the question okay pak 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 like the chicken like mr now the most talkative uh, boy ever uh, goes to the uh, to ahmed fa finally no. uh, ahmed amir is losing his title yes for the ballon d'or of most talkative no, guy now ahmed fa for 2023 <laughs> okay so okay. let me see my camera is working or not oh my camera is working 